hi welcome back to learn it or attain it with mommy and josie uh, today we're going to be talking about the game honeycombs Ooh, look at this nice little bag oh first of all i just love how it comes in this little little drawstring bag that looks like a honeycomb isn't it adorable yeah so this game, it's for ages six and up. It's for one to eight players, and it's approximately 15 to 30 minutes. There are actually a few different ways of playing, but first we're gonna show you the uh, the components, okay? So Josie, open and it up. sometimes it would be a little bit long. Yeah, it can actually sometimes go on and on, but that's yeah. where they put in the half hour, you know, the half hour range. Yeah. Um, oops. So it comes with 52 tiles that are really nice quality. They are very, very nice, very nice quality. Nope, we'll put it actually up here so we can see the game. Um, so I'll just show you just a few different ones. Uh, so it has a little, they have a little bear, they have honey sticks or honeycomb. Um, some of them come with a little beehive or a bee, uh, flowers, and there's a honey, honey jar. The other thing I wanted to point out was, uh, so there are a few different versions uh, that you can play, a lot of different types. Uh, one of them, ha you actually use the, the symbol that's in the middle. This one is a little honeybee right in the center. So this means that any of them will be a wild, a wild one for what you need it to be. Uh, the one with just the honeycombs is just a regular one. We have, uh, there's another one. So we have this one you can steal from your opponent, see the little thief in the middle. We have, there's another one, uh, times two, so you get two times the points. And I think there was one more. This one was you get an, you get an extra turn. So the one way that uh, we'll show you today is just the regular, um, the one I like is actually the co-op version. And it's where, so we're both gonna work together. And uh, so we're going to take actually all of these. We're not going to leave them all out here because it looks like we're playing already. We'll just put them in a nice, nice little stack. I'm putting mine in a stack. Yeah. So one of the, the other versions um, is also, so there's a one player version. So you just, you just build your own hive, which is nice if you don't have anyone to play with or you just want to have some alone time. And so you're just pretty much going to match the, the pictures. That's that's just the way you do it and you're just going to work all around and until you have no more tiles left and you can total up how many are uh, you managed to put down and so the way to do it is just you're going to match on uh, yeah so just on the side it has to be flat and you'd work you know like work your way around with the same pictures and match them up okay that's that's going to be a lot if it falls all right so we'll just doesn't have to be super equal here. And uh, so, like, if you get a match, it, it, like, so they basically just go together like this. That's what I showed to you. With, with being like this together, but not like this. No, they have to be together. Yeah. 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 One of the other versions, uh, like there's a worker bee version. I'm, did you leave the instruction? <laughs> Left it in here. So it's nice that there's not just the one way to play. We have the, um, yeah, so we have the worker bee. So that one's for two to four players. That one is a competitive, uh, so you're going back and forth. Also, there's one where uh, you have two separate honeycombs, which is really nice. I believe that's that one, actually. That one's where you have two separates, and you're racing, you're racing, racing, racing to finish your honeycomb and run out of your tiles before the other person. So you're just, you know, laying them down, laying them down, and you go, oh, I won! You know, it, it just finished before you did. The other one, uh, Virgin B, is one big honeycomb, so you are still competing against the other person, uh, but, but you're trying to finish, you know, with all your tiles before the other person and you're going to count points, you know, for how many you match. So if you have two 
let's say the two uh, the two hives that go together, uh, then you'll you'll get points for every one that matches around. Yeah. Plus, that's the one I believe where that is actually the one where you're gonna look at the times two of the points, um, you know, or steal the points or have another turn. You're gonna play one at a time. The other one, the one that I was just saying that I like though, is the honeycombs puzzle, and that's version C. So we'll just have you know all these tiles, and we're gonna build a honeycomb together, and we'll look and go, oh, you know, do you have a flower one? Oh, let's try to do this together. So it's a nice cooperative version. There, it also talks about the um, the single the single match. So there's your one player game. And then the mismatched uh, con um, connection. They also have a core connection, which I haven't played yet. But um, the mismatched one, so I guess you're just playing and playing and playing. And until uh, you remove, it's hard to see here. It's just um, you remove the points. Um, oh my goodness. You actually uh, eliminate some points if you have any connections that are not accurate. So, so anyway, we'll just show you just... The first one, we'll just put a few down and just show how it goes. So let's, yeah, you don't want to stack so many because if they fall, I'm afraid they are going to actually break because they're not, this is not um, just plastic. This is a nice, a nice material here, nice tile. So let's put a couple down and just see how it goes. Let's build a little bit of a honeycomb just so you can get an idea. So the one thing, what do you like about this game, Josie? I like it since... We got it, and what do you I like, like about it? the bag because it's <laughs> so it's cute. a whole big honeycomb. Yeah, with the cute little bees on it. Yeah. The bag is really cute. I also like the the uh, little tokens. Oh, they're tiles. Yeah, they're pretty nice. Can we just uh, let's show a little round? You don't have to line them all up. Let's just put a couple down. Let's work together as a team. Do you want to put one down? So I have I have this one to start. Okay, why don't you put one down and try to match a couple around. And we'll go back and, and I forth. Have this one to yep. count. Oh. So what are you going to connect? So the the honeycomb or the the hive, my apologies. So the hive. And then it'll be my turn. So we just go back and forth. So I think I'm going to try to go for this one's a nice one. So they have um, a honey pot and a honeycomb or honey stick. So I'm gonna actually connect in the, the middle there. Do you have one you wanna put? Mm. It's just, you know, the thing I like is it's just um. fairly calm, aside from when you do the really competitive one, the race for the worker bee. Very nice. Let's see if, see if I have a, I wanna have a, a hive and a bear. Do I have a hive and a bear? Mommy, I could have just done this one. Yeah. So. Let's see. <laughs> maybe, maybe a a stick and and a bear. Ooh. So I have the stick and a bear. So it's kind of nice when you 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 get it, you know. Yep. So you have flower, flower. That's anyway. That's how we play the the cooperative one. So I think let's just end it at that. But we'll we'll play off camera. But. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you'll subscribe and like our videos. Anyone say bye? Thank you so much. Okay, bye-bye.